Protecting yourself from scams and fraud. International Bruins, we would like to take four minutes to cover a very important topic related to your safety following your move to the U.S. to attend UCLA. Scams and fraud are a real danger to the international population. Lately, there have been many reported cases of students falling for scams, causing them to lose thousands of dollars and getting their information stolen. For this reason, we hope you take note on how to spot a potential scam or fraud and learn the right steps to avoid becoming the next victim. What is a scam? A scam is a dishonest attempt to obtain money or something else of value. Scammers are people who will lie and misrepresent themselves as people with skill or authority to their victims. Scams can come in many forms. Scammers often know the names and some biographical information about their victims, which can make them appear to be more official. Victims are contacted via phone calls, email, text messages, mail, internet website, in person, and more. Here is a common example on how scams can happen. Let's use student Josephine Bruin as an example. Josephine gets a call from caller ID called USCIS. Hello? This is an important call to Josephine Bruin. Your information has been shared with USCIS and your F1 status may be in danger with immigration. Pull over if you're driving, do not talk to anyone, and we can discuss your options so you'll not be arrested. How is that possible? Well, but I didn't do anything wrong. What can I do to fix this issue? We will need you to send a photo of your passport and you need to pay the fee to clear your name from a criminal list with your home country. Call this number and they will explain to you how to proceed with the payment and next steps. Do not speak to anyone about this. If you do, they will also be at risk. Student pauses for a second and remembers training on scams. They hang up immediately. This was a common example of the types of scams students are falling victim to. It is important to note that although this is one situation as an example, there are many other ways scams can take place. Scams have characteristics that can be spotted by you. For instance, a phone call, email, or in-person request from a stranger that requires immediate action. A call with caller ID or phone number information that appears to be from a government agency or law enforcement. A claim is made that you owe money or have committed some kind of violation. Scams can be a job offer from a UCLA department or an apartment for rent in Westwood. Scammers use fear, threats, and intimidation to get something from you. Scammers will keep you on the phone for a long time and will not let you hang up to call back later. If you do get scammed, what should you do? Report immediately to the appropriate agencies. This includes the Dash Youth Center at Fraud Report at saonet.ucla.edu. Other agencies such as UCPD, UCLA Cybersecurity, the Federal Trade Commission, Office of the Inspector General, Homeland Security Tip Line, and the IRS. UCPD will provide you with immediate assistance on campus. If you feel you are in danger, please do not hesitate to go to the station on campus. If you need any psychological and or academic support, our case managers on campus are here to assist you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Lastly, your report is very important to help other students for falling for similar scams, and it will help us prevent future scams for other students. The DASHU Center is here to help you navigate life on campus, so don't hesitate to ask for help by reaching out to our team. Takeaway. International students, you will most likely encounter potential fraud and scams in various forms. The best way of protecting yourself from scammers is to stop before you act, Check the sources or whom you are speaking with and ask for help if you are ever uncertain. If you have any questions, contact the DASHU Center. Please be careful and thank you for keeping this campus safe from scammers.